Hello students, my name is Priyanka and today I am going to start chapter number 14 that is journey of machines. So let's kick start. Find out the pictures of some tools that were used by early man in the ancient time. As you know the tools and weapon of early man were stones. Man continued his efforts to make better tools. In this chapter, we will read more about his progress from the stone age to machine age, from stones to metals. The tools of early man were stone. Later, a number of other tools were made of bone and ivory. Growth in this knowledge led to the invention of mechanical devices like bow and spear thrower as weapon. The bone remained Hunter's most efficient hand weapon. The discovery and the use of metals are of great importance in the history of mankind. Metals provided men with a material which was more durable than stone and could be worked for making a variety of tools and weapons. The first metal used for making tools was copper. In the early stages, Man did not know about copper. It is recovered from mines. By chance, man happened to throw some rock pieces in the fire and when the fire died down, he observed a red ball in the ashes. This ball was copper which was heavy and shone when cleaned. After few thousand years, the discovery of iron made the men powerful as never before. Iron was harder than copper. It was also cheap and available in plenty. Iron made it possible to make a variety of agricultural tools such as plows, skill, shovels and spades on a large scale. Excess made of iron also made it possible to fill trees and clear jungles on a large scale, thereby making more land for agriculture. The importance of iron weapons in warfare is also immense. Thus, man became more skilled. Blacksmith, carpenter, farmer, hunter and potter. So children, it's time for tits and bits. The first public passenger train in the world was drawn on 27 September 1825 by Stephenson's Locomotion number one, it was driven by Stephenson himself. Inventing the engines. The invention of the steam engine was the biggest turning point in men's life. In 1769, James Watt invented the steam engine. It paved the way for the invention of the railway. This was developed by George Stephenson. The steam engine was used to run different kinds of big and small machines. Later, petrol and diesel led to the invention of cars, trucks, etc. Mass production. Before the machine age, every article had to be made by hand. The craftsmen could make only one thing at a time. They could not make exactly similar articles. Moreover, this took a long time. The total production was small. Once upon a time, there was a blacksmith who used to make rifles. He was a skilled worker. Once he was asked to manufacture about 10,000 rifles in a fixed time. He accepted the challenge and prepared a plan after studying the deal carefully. The due date for the supply of rifles drew near. No one noticed any change in the working of his workshop. One day he went to his client with two big boxes full of rifle parts. In short time, the blacksmith assembled the parts and made about a dozen identical rifles. The client was surprised that all the rifles were of the same size and quality. Parts of any rifle could be easily replaced. Actually, blacksmith prepared the design and models of a rifle. He prepared the mold for each part. With the help of the mold, he got the various parts manufactured in different workshops. On assembling these parts, the rifles were ready. 
This method is called a mass production. This method improved the quality and reduced the cost of a product. Now, articles could be made in a large number in a short time. The idea of mass production resulted in the development of big factories. Workers left their villages to settle near big factories. This brought about a great change in our life and occupation. It was called the Industrial Revolution. So, food for the machines. Big factories produced various goods in large quantities. They used various types of machine to do this work. Power was needed to run these machines. In the beginning, steam was used widely. Water had to be boiled to produce steam. Coal and wood was used to boiling water. The coal or wood was a food for big machines. Coal Coal buried deep under the earth's surface take thousands of years to be formed. Coal was among the first fuel to be used. Even today, coal is a major source of energy. However, People have realized that constant use of coal as a source of energy will exhaust its reserve one day. This realization has forced scientists to look for alternate source of energy. Mineral oil or crude oil. The mineral oil was discovered accidentally. It was found in USA in 1857. The mineral oil is also found deep inside the earth. Wells have to be dug to take it out. It is refined to petrol, diesel, kerosene, gas, mobile oil and a variety of other chemicals. Invention of petrol machines Gottlieb Demmler, a German scientist, developed a machine which could be run by petrol. This invention introduced the automobiles. Rudolf Diesel Rudolf Diesel developed another engine which worked with another variety of oil now called diesel. Diesel is cheaper than petrol and could be used for running heavy vehicles like trucks and buses. Also it can be used for running railway engines. Electricity A new source of energy. Example electricity was developed. Today this is the most important source of energy. Most of it is produced with the help of coal, mineral oil and natural gas. Some electricity is also produced from running water. This is called hydro power or hydroelectricity. Electricity also comes from nuclear power plants. The discovery of electricity is an interesting story. A man in the Netherlands developed a toy called Leiden jar that had two wires, one in a glass and the other outside it. On joining the two wires, sparks were produced. Sometime it also produced a mild shock. An American scientist, Benjamin Franklin, learned about it. He thought that the lightning in the sky and the spark produced by the leaden jar was similar. He tried to prove it through an experiment. He flew a kite tied to a thread on cloudy day. When lightning and thunder occurred in the sky, he attached a piece of wire in the kite and piece of metal at the other end of the thread. He flew the kite close to the clouds and touched the metal at the other end of the metal piece. When there was lightning, he received a shock. This led to the discovery of electricity. So children, it's time for tits and bits. In 1880, an Italian scientist, Walter, developed a battery which produced a small amount of electricity. It was called Voltic cell. Volt, the unit of electromotive force, is named after him. It was soon realized that electricity had great force and could he put to good use. Today we run fans, radio, TV, electrical bulbs, air conditioners, etc. through electricity. Later on, 
generators were developed to produce electricity these generators needs coal or mineral oil or running water to run and produce electricity other sources of energy solar energy wind energy geothermal energy and tidal energy are other sources of energy these are renewable sources they will never exhaust and they are pollution free also now children it's time for tits and bits the largest solar plant in india is located at madhopur near bhuj in gujarat now it's time for looking back discovery of metals changed the life of a man copper was the first metal used by men discovery of iron revolutionized the life of men the idea of mass production resulted in the development of big factories energy for machines is obtained from coal petroleum and natural gas electricity is of three types hydroelectricity thermal electricity and nuclear electricity and the last one is solar energy wind energy and geothermal energy are renewable and pollution free so students it's time to take your leave so we'll meet in the next class bye